It's Denise here. I'm going to just do a little bit of a rundown on what the Studio Essential actions do and I guess what they are. So this image here is straight out of camera. If I'm not using a preset first, which I generally do, but if you want to only use actions for your whole edit, what you would do is, or I guess what I would do, is use the Appleseed base first. I hit play, just like so. And you can tell here that my image is underexposed. So I'm going to have to lower the opacity to maybe 60%. So if you correctly expose, you might need yours to be at 40%. Just depends on your image. All right, I'm going to also brush it off. Sometimes you don't really want it to be, um, you know, all over the image. So you can actually just click on that and, and brush it off. Okay, so you can do whatever you want. This is just an example so that you can see that you have full control when you're using this action here. Then I'm gonna hit, I um, hit Command E to flatten that. And just for the sake of this, I'm going to just um, crop it in. All right, a little more just to get rid of that junk there. Okay, good enough. All right, so I asked the mom, you know, she, well, actually I didn't ask, she mentioned these here. She said, can you, you know, edit some of them out? Some of them don't look, you know, very um, appealing, she said. So I said, well, how about this? I'll get rid of some of the bigger ones and we'll keep some of the little ones because that is what he looks like. And she said, no, that, that's perfect. I, I do like them. Some of them just, yeah, aren't as appealing, she said. So I'm gonna go in here and grab my brush and you wanna make sure your brush is on soft always. When you're using these actions, your brush must always be soft. So now I'm just going over with the Blemish Blaster and we're gonna just clean up some of his skin. So you can do this. I like to leave a few little bits and pieces of skin just to you know, make, the, make it look so that it's real. Um, but that's up to you and your taste. Works great on little milk bits, you know, you name it, it works pretty good. Okay. Okay, just a couple more bits here. And I'm gonna leave a few of those, right? So it looks natural still. Now I'm gonna flatten that again. Now the cooldown action is more for if, you know, you find that you have way too much magenta in your image or it's super warm. This just kind of tones it down. And again, you can adjust the opacity here. So if you think, okay, that's too cool, well, then you can adjust the opacity. So I put at 10 because um, I plan to use the finishers at the end anyway. So we're gonna use the Ultra Skin Brush. So this brush is best suited for uh, close-up images, just like this one. You can use them on adults, on or this on adults, children, babies, but make sure that they are close-up. If you are, say, doing a family portrait outside and you know there's five of them and they're far away in the photo, this would not work really well. You would have to use a different brush, but this is the bomb for close-ups. All right, you can see how it blends in that shadow there, like, and you use it on the entire body except for all of the detail spots like wrinkles and things like that. I'm not gonna use it on the tip of his nose because it'll take away a lot of the detail there. Okay, now I'm going to obviously adjust the opacity here because that is pretty, that's pretty strong. You can see what a difference it makes. Now I'm going to do about 50%. That's my favorite is about 50 to 60, depending. Um, now the color changer, now that's a tricky one. There's an actual separate full tutorial showing exactly how to use this. So we'll skip over that because there is an entire tutorial dedicated to this color changer. Um, so we're gonna go to the, the subtle vignette brush. So this is a vignette brush. So you can actually just paint it on to where you want it to be dark which I find works awesome on, well, on this too, but um, obviously it's not the best on the bean bag. It would be more suited for, say, props um, with like a wood floor. So I would not use it on this particular photo here, but that's just how it works anyway. Flatten that. All right, fabric smoother. Sometimes it does this and I don't know why, but you just have to hit continue, it'll work and hit okay. Now we just paint it on. And you can, um, we wanna make sure too that you're careful not to get too close to the, um, to the skin because it'll kinda 
it'll kind of collect the color of the skin. So you want to kind of go on the more on the outer, see how that happened. I got so close that it almost makes it the skin color. So you don't want to do that. You kind of want to go on the outer edge of the baby. And because this brush, kind of, it, it, uh, it knows the color um, that it's working on. So you want to stay away from the baby. All right. And you want to make sure you don't have it super strong. I'll do 30% there. Okay. Unless, of course, you have really heavy wrinkles in your uh, bean bag, you could probably get away with using it at a higher opacity. So now we have uh, sharpened details in here. There's a sharpened um, details brush in each set. In the big set, there are two. Um, the one is called applesauce, but that one is actually designed for if you miss focus, whereas this one is more um you know just for this like just to just kind of give it a little pop all right i'm gonna flatten that all right we're coming along here so these are finishing actions officially baked two three four five six seven so the original one is in the baked collection and it's just simply called officially baked which is right here that is why you'll notice that there's two three four five six seven in case you're wondering where the you know where the first one is it's in the first collection but people loved it so much that i wanted to make you know different finishing actions so we're going to show you exactly how these ones look um so here we go it's a bit strong so all you'd have to do is adjust the opacity to your taste that one looks really pretty but i'm not going to use it just because i want to run through all the other ones as well okay so then officially big three Sometimes it looks scary when they're applied, but you just need to, I love this one. This is probably one of my favorite ones. Um, you just need to adjust the opacity if it looks kind of haunting. Um, just like anything, right? It, a less is more sometimes. You don't ever want to really over edit your images. So you just got to lower the opacity. All right, this is officially baked four. That's kind of got like a golden kind of vintage vibe to it. That'd probably look really pretty if you were to do, let's say, Santa photos or like holiday pictures too with um, older kids and such like that. It would probably look real good on that. Officially baked five. And also, if you didn't know, with the actions and presets, if you buy them from me, um, I do updates on them, you know, fairly often and often enough anyway. And you actually get the updates for free. So officially baked seven was not part of this collection originally. I added it more recently, so just know that. And same with my um, the baked collection, I added the applesauce brush to it as a free update. All right, that one's really pretty too. It's officially baked six and seven. I love, love, love because it kind of gives it a creamy little situation to it. Like, just looks epic. I'm freaking obsessed with it. So I don't like what it did to the background though. So I'm going to just erase it off. Just take my little eraser guy and gone. I'm gonna flatten it there because I do like this one best for this image. All right, so this would be exactly how I'd edit this photo. Um, this obviously is a quick edit. Uh, and so I'm gonna show you a before and after here. So this is before and then after using only actions, no presets used. So then of course you can use the black and whites here. Pretty. And yeah, so the, there's three black and whites and you can decide which one you think suits your photo the best. Of course, it's always gonna be a little different between, oh, I love that one, um, using props and bean bag and things like that. So lots to consider when you're picking your, your black and white. I don't know, I really liked, okay, I like them all. Dang, okay, I'd probably pick number one or two here, but anyway, that is that, and I hope this helped you understand a little bit more about what these actions do, and yeah, have a fabulous day.